I'm home. You're okay. Of course he is. I've been with him the whole time. Jude, I need you to leave us alone for a bit. How come? Because I said so. Hmm. Huh. You know kids will rebel if you don't tell them what's up, right? You're the one who'd be in trouble if I told him what's up. Come now, you make it sound like I'm holding Jude hostage. Aren't you? If anything, I'm protecting him from Exodus. Not to mention, we're friends that trust and rely on each other. <sighs> Believe what you want. No skin off my back. But you know, your son may be a lot more grown up than you realize. He's just a child going through a rebellious phase. Isn't that the phase that turns kids into adults? Maybe he's not there yet, but he ain't no child either. <sighs> Must be tough being a dad. Sacrificing so many things for your family, only to have your son grow up and leave you. That's just how it works. I accept that. You always were like that, Dr. Mathis. I can see why Jude became an honor student. What were you talking about? Just chatting about our old people diseases. Want the details? No, that's okay. You and Dad have a right to discuss what you want to. How very prudent of you, as always. Guess he's still got some kid in him after all.
Isn't this... The building where Klein's assassin was hiding? Yeah. On Noctical's orders, I imagine. Regardless, the responsibility for Lord Klein's death lies solely on my shoulders. Why would you say that? It wasn't any of our faults. But unfortunately it is. Do you remember the arrow that pierced his heart? Yeah, I remember it being pretty unusual. It's a highly lethal design used by Noctigal's personal guard. It was an invention of a Roshigal military tactician. He employed those arrows in his battles, and they brought him many great victories. Wait, that sounds like... Yes, I was that tactician. Back then, I was known as the Conductor, and cared only about flaunting my abilities. Now you've paid the price. Alvin, come on! No, he's absolutely right. In the end, my abilities couldn't protect the one person I had sworn to keep safe. The only thing they're good for is killing. I don't think that's how Klein viewed you, though. Even in his last words, he wanted you to look over the country. If he believed you were only good for killing, he never would have said such things. Thank you, my friends. I still have much to do before I can fulfill Master Klein's last request. But my regret cuts all the deeper for knowing my arrows took the life of a man who trusted me so. Hmm. Not liking this wind. It's messing up my hair.
The spirit climb in the Kutum keeps the area cloaked in a perpetual golden sunset. Oh, that sounds so romantic. Even great warriors can't fight on an empty stomach. Of course, nor are they very effective when they're drowsy after a big meal. Finished. 